Hey everyone, okay, I'm gonna be talking you through how to look after your brushes. And every brush apart from brush number one can be, doesn't need to be washed daily or weekly or even every two weeks because you're just using them with powder products. You can take your brushes, whether it's the eyeshadow brushes or the face brushes, and on a cloth or a damp piece of paper, uh, on a clean piece of sort of tissue, just wipe them and they will release product. They do not need to be washed every single time. They really don't. So just take them and most of the product will come off and they'll be ready for use again and again. So you don't need to be washing them. One of the most important things you do is do not use these brushes with alcohol-based uh, cleansers. It will dry out the bristles on these brushes because the bristles are very, very delicate. So it's very important that you don't use any alcohol-based products. When it comes to washing them, the best way is to just use a small amount of baby shampoo and then just gently swirl the brush around and it will release this product and it will be clean. Don't get the furl wet, which is inside here. You don't want that wet because it can cause the glue that holds the hairs to come loose and just to kind of, you know, it's it, you don't want the furl wet ever on any brush. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. All the brushes can be just washed like that, including the foundation brush. But if you're using it for powder-based products, then again, the same techniques just to wipe it off is perfectly fine. And the foundation brush will, of course, once it's cleaned properly, will release all its color and retain its white color. Of all the brushes, they are all sort of easy to look after and care for. The holiday brush, which is the limited edition one, which is the very big size of the number two brush. This one's slightly different. Again, the same techniques apply. It just needs to be wiped over because we're using it with powders and bronzers and that stuff, it's fine. But when it comes to washing it, this is the only brush in my range that's been colored and it's been colored so that it matches all the other brushes so that they all resemble each other. So when you use this with some water and a bit of baby shampoo, it can release color and that can be a bit scary. It's nothing to worry about, absolutely. It will not affect the performance of the brush. It will not change the brush. The color will not bleed from it and it'll suddenly become a different color. Don't worry about it. It is perfectly normal for it to release color and bleed. Once it's dry, it's perfectly normal and back to normal again, so don't worry about it. But it's the only brush in the series that was colored and it was only colored so it could match the rest of the brushes. So don't worry about it. So to reiterate, be gentle with your brushes. They are made from very delicate hair. It's none of them are cut or anything like that. They're very, very delicate brushes, so be gentle with them. Don't wash them every day. With regards to all your powder brushes, you don't need to. Wash your foundation brush as often as you feel is necessary. And remember with the limited edition, if you picked up this one, then make sure that you know, you're careful with it and also expect some bleeding when using water. It's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. But don't use any alcohol-based products on these brushes because it will dry out the hair and we don't want that. The whole purpose of these brushes was to make them ultra soft and that's what we've done. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much, bye-bye.